Hey folks, my name is Ravish and welcome back to another video in the series of DevSecOps project. As you can see on my screen, today we are going to talk about Docker installation on a Ubuntu machine or a Ubuntu Linux. Alright, so the steps that we are going to do today is, today's agenda is install Docker on Ubuntu VM, which we'll talk about. There are several methods to do, to do that. First is install Docker from APT repository and we are going to demo it today. Another method is to install from the latest Docker release. We are not going to do that. It's just I want you to know that there are other methods as well. We are going to talk about the first method only. Next, we are going to validate the Docker installation. What exactly is a, a command to validate whether Docker is installed properly or not. And then we are going to pull a Docker base image to check whether everything is fine or not. At the end, we are going to run a Docker container and check whether everything is running fine or not in this docker installation all right so this would be today's agenda um, at the end uh, i would just like to request that if you're new over here and seeing me for the first time kindly subscribe to the channel because it really motivates me to create more content like this so without further ado let's dive right into the demo part okay so as you can see on my screen i'm on the official website docs.docker.com desktop install ubuntu install docker desktop okay so just have to click over here in the install docker desktop and then it is asking to set up docker package repository first okay so we are going to do that so let's right click over here and open it in a new tab it is telling me to sudo update okay so i'll just open the terminal okay let me just clear the screen first and do a sudo su over here okay i already have the root access i'm going to paste it hit enter and then it is done I'll just clear it okay this is done now it is going to I have to install this so just copy this command and then right click over here paste hit enter do you want to continue yes I want to continue and I have typed Y and then it going to take some time okay so I think this is done perfect let me just clear it again the second step is to add docker's official gpg key so I'll have to copy this command I'll make a directory paste it hit enter and then this would have been created perfect and then the next command is this perfect I could have copied like this but just wanted to show you what is happening over here paste it over here hit enter and that is done the third step is to use the following command to set up the repository so I'll just copy this from directly now you can scroll it like this to see whether everything is right or not perfect paste hit enter and that is done alright so now we have to install the docker engine so update the package so I'll just copy this I have to just copy this from here it's very easy folks paste it over here hit enter and then it is reading package perfect this is done I'll just clear this after that receiving a GPG error when apt get update so I did not get any kind of this because uh, I do not have uh, uh, any such thing done in that so I'll just have to install docker engine container container D and docker compose okay uh, Talking about this is uh, if you get an error like this, then your default U mask may be incorrectly configured, preventing detention, detection of the repository public key file. Try granting read permissions for the Docker public key before updating the package index. Okay, so you can use like this uh, shimod command. So give them the access. All right. I did not get any such type of error, so I'll just directly go over here to install the latest version. Run you have to this. If you want to do some specific version, you can do like this. I just want the latest version. I'll just copy this, paste it over here, hit enter, and then it is going to ask me whether you want to continue. Yes, I want to continue. Now it is going to install it. Uh, first, it is going to download. So it is going to take somewhere close to like 20 MB over here. Okay, my internet speed coming right now is 11 MB per second. And uh, so what I'll do is I'll let it happen. And uh, once it is done, I'll be uh, fast forwarding, forwarding this video. All right. Okay, folks. So this is done. I'll just clear the screen again. So now 
This step is done. So now I have to verify that the Docker engine installation is successful by loading a hello world image. All you have to do is copy this, paste it over here. Let me just expand it for a better view. Hit enter. It'll say unable to find image hello world latest locally. So there is no local image. So what it will do is it will pull from the library hello world. And as you can see that uh, the SHA-256 is this status download newer image for hello world latest hello from docker this means that everything is perfectly running fine okay so what is the next step over here this commands downloads a test image and runs it in a container when the container runs it prints a confirmation message in exist so you have now successfully installed and started docker engine the docker uses group exist but contains no users which is why you require to use sudo to run docker commands Continue the Linux post install to allow non-privileged -privil user to run Docker commands and for another optional configuration step. So if you click over here, there are another steps that you can do. You can just um, create a Docker group and add to the Docker group, something like that. I do not want to do it right now because I do not need it. But if in future we'll need it, we'll do that. All right. So this is done. Okay, so there is another way to do this install from a package, but right now we are not going to do that because our installation is done. But you can just go through this. Uh, how do we do that? Upgrade the Docker engine. How do you do that? There are multiple commands available over here. And why I showed you this, why I did not copy paste it, everything into a piece of paper or into notepad because I want you to always visit the official website, which is docs.docker.com and because it is every time updated if there is anything new that has been changed or ought to be changed okay so i think this is done so i hope you have understood everything let me just check how do we check the command docker version okay i am not sure how to check the latest version let me just check if i'm getting hyphen docker v if i perfect let me just clear this and show you so docker version 20.10.21 build build f 1f this is what we are having in our system right now so at the time of recording this video i have this version maybe you are seeing it after one month two months or a year or after that you will be having a different version all right so folks i hope you have understood it till here and if there is anything if there is any question you want me to explain or you want me uh, to uh, explain more on this feel free to comment down below in the comment section and I will address that. So thanks guys and I will see you in the next one.